in the dense jungles of the prehistoric world, amidst the thundering footsteps of colossal creatures, there lurked a predator so terrifying it sent chills down the spines of its prey. Its long snout, sharp teeth, and curved claw sent shivers down your spine. This is the world of Baryonyx, a dinosaur unlike any other. Get ready to embark on a thrilling adventure through time as we uncover the secrets of this semi-aquatic hunter whose extraordinary adaptations and captivating presence continue to captivate the imaginations of dinosaur enthusiasts around the globe. Baryonyx is a fascinating dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 130 to 125 million years ago. This carnivorous dinosaur, belonging to the group of theropods, is renowned for its unique characteristics and adaptations. With its name meaning heavy claw, Baryonyx earned its reputation for possessing a remarkable claw on its hand, unlike any other dinosaur. In terms of its physical appearance, it was a large predator, measuring around 30 feet, 9 meters, in length and weighing several tons. Its body was elongated, featuring a long, slender snout filled with sharp, cone-shaped teeth, this dinosaur's overall build suggests adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, making it a truly remarkable and distinct creature in the realm of dinosaurs. Baryonyx's discovery and subsequent findings have played a significant role in expanding our understanding of the prehistoric world. The story of this giant begins in 1983 when a fossilized claw was unearthed in Surrey, England. This discovery was remarkable as it was the first of its kind, revealing a previously unknown dinosaur species. The subsequent excavation of the area led to the recovery of additional fossils, including parts of the skeleton and skull of Baryonyx, shedding further light on its anatomy and behavior. The significance lies not only in its unique characteristics, but also in the insights it provides into the diverse ecosystems of the early Cretaceous period, this animal is believed to have inhabited environments such as river deltas, where it utilized its specialized adaptations for hunting fish and potentially other prey items. Its elongated snout, sharp teeth, and partially curved claw are all indicative of its piscivorous, fish-eating, tendencies, making it one of the few known dinosaurs with adaptations for aquatic hunting. Furthermore, Baryonyx's discovery challenged existing notions about the diversity of dinosaurs and their adaptability to different ecological niches. The presence of a semi-aquatic predator like Baryonyx suggests that dinosaurs were not solely restricted to terrestrial habitats, but were capable of thriving in various environments. The fossils of this dinosaur and subsequent research have also provided valuable insights into the evolutionary relationships and classification of theropod dinosaurs. Its distinct features and characteristics have allowed paleontologists to place it within the larger group of spinosaurid dinosaurs, showcasing the diversity within this particular lineage. Baryonyx possessed a distinctive anatomy and a range of adaptations that set it apart from other dinosaurs of its time. Its physical features were well suited for its piscivorous lifestyle and semi-aquatic habitat. Starting with its skull, Baryonyx had a long and narrow snout reminiscent of modern crocodiles. This elongated snout housed a set of sharp conical teeth, which were ideal for grasping and holding onto slippery prey such as fish. The arrangement of its teeth suggests that they primarily fed on fish, although it may have also consumed other small vertebrates. One of the most remarkable features of Baryonyx was its specialized claw, for which it was named. This claw, found on the first finger of its hand, was significantly elongated and curved. It resembled a hook and was likely used for catching and manipulating prey, particularly fish. The unique shape and size of the claw indicate that they had a specialized fishing adaptation, allowing it to easily snatch fish from the water. In terms of body structure, Baryonyx had a robust and powerful build. Its forelimbs were well-developed and featured strong muscles, enabling it to handle struggling prey and exert force with its specialized claw. Its hind limbs were also sturdy, indicating that this dinosaur was capable of both walking on land and swimming in water. While Baryonyx was primarily adapted for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, it also had characteristics indicative of a bipedal dinosaur. Its hind limbs were elongated and built for walking and running, suggesting that it could move efficiently on land. They likely utilized their bipedal stance when not engaged in hunting or foraging in water. 
Baryonyx had a specialized diet and feeding behavior that revolved primarily around fish, but likely extended to other small vertebrates as well. Its anatomical features provided clues about its hunting strategies and the types of prey it targeted. As its name suggests, Baryonyx was well adapted for piscivory or fish eating. Its long and slender snout, equipped with sharp conical teeth, was ideal for catching and gripping slippery acquired prey. The teeth lacked the serrations commonly found in other theropod dinosaurs, indicating a specialization for grasping rather than tearing flesh. This suggests that Baryonyx employed a grab-and-hold approach to capturing fish, using its powerful jaws to maintain a firm grip on its prey. Their most notable adaptation for fish-eating was its elongated and curved claw on its first finger. This specialized claw resembled a hook, which was likely used to impale and secure fish, preventing them from escaping. The combination of the long snout, sharp teeth, and the fishing claw made Baryonyx a formidable aquatic predator, well-suited for hunting and capturing fish in its semi-aquatic habitat. While fish constituted the primary component of Baryonyx's diet, it is also possible that it supplemented its food intake with other small vertebrates. The presence of small bones and teeth from dinosaurs, turtles, and other animals found alongside Baryonyx fossils suggests occasional scavenging or opportunistic predation on land-dwelling prey. However, the extent to which they relied on such prey items remains uncertain. To hunt its aquatic prey, Baryonyx likely frequented river and lake environments. It may have employed stealthy approaches, patiently waiting in the water or near the water's edge for unsuspecting fish to come within striking range. Once a fish was captured, Baryonyx would have used its powerful jaws and toothy snout to subdue and consume its catch. Baryonyx, with its fascinating features and unique adaptations, has left a lasting impression in popular culture. Its portrayal in various forms of media has contributed to its recognition and popularity among dinosaur enthusiasts and the general public. It has made appearances in several movies, television shows, and documentaries that center around dinosaurs. Its inclusion in these productions helps to bring the prehistoric world to life, captivating audiences with its distinct appearance and hunting strategies. Baryonyx is often depicted as a formidable predator, showcasing its fishing adaptations and engaging in thrilling encounters with other dinosaurs. In addition to visual media, Baryonyx has also made its mark in literature and children's books. Its distinct features, such as the long snout and fishing claw, make it a captivating subject for storytelling and educational material. Baryonyx's presence in these books allows young readers to explore the wonders of the prehistoric world and learn about the fascinating adaptations of ancient creatures. Baryonyx has also found its way into the realm of video games, where it often appears as a playable character or an enemy to be encountered. Its unique attributes and aquatic hunting abilities make it an intriguing addition to virtual prehistoric worlds, providing players with the opportunity to interact with and learn about this remarkable dinosaur. While Baryonyx's appearances in popular culture are undoubtedly entertaining, it is important to note that artistic liberties are often taken for creative purposes. Some depictions may exaggerate certain features or behaviors to enhance the dramatic impact. As with any representation of dinosaurs, it is crucial to maintain a distinction between entertainment and scientific accuracy. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.